Cypem has been awarded for the engineering, procurement, construction and installation of the gas export pipeline. The gas export pipeline works consist of a short approach work in Darwin and the works inside the Darwin Harbour, the offshore installation of the pipeline, as well as the preparation for the laydown in the subsea field. First time that Castellani has been employed here to install the Inktis gas export pipeline. It is the first time that Castellani has come to Australia. It is the first time that Castellani is installing a pipeline in shallow water and also the first time that the Castellani is installing a concrete coated pipeline. The engineering of the project was, um, was centered in Perth, in the Perth office, with the support of a specialized office. A consistent amount of works was inside the Darwin Harbour, where there was the preparation for the shore approach, the prelay trenching and the rock dumping for the protection of the pipeline inside the harbour. One of the major challenges has been and continues to be the environment regulations of this country. On this project, the Castoroni has achieved record pipe lay production. She has achieved 122 triple joints, which is just over four and a half kilometers. And that is, the, that is the most that she's produced in a single day since her conception. The Castor only started in 60 metres of water depth and will continue and complete the line at the Ictis field in 250 metres water depth. I think it went quite well given the um, complexity and the challenge of importing a vessel into a country that is having such a high requirement and the vessel was pretty much ready and the vessel management team on board as well was really supportive and the result as HAC is pretty good so far. The safety is a very priority target and with the high technology we have on board, we have a chance to give the appropriate quiet and the appropriate professional people to perform his job. The 
word logistic is not only referred to one single point, but it's going from the crew, passing it through the material and the project material. What we need for our project? Pipes, because at the end of the day we are laying a pipeline, and a normal life of a small town, like food and the crew change that we are doing on a daily basis. So the logistic departments is going from the project, passing to the personnel, going through the material. That is a very big challenge, to have all coordinated for permit the vessel to leave and to do the production. With installation of ICTIS, Cyprem has achieved another success. We remember that uh, Cyprem has already installed the longest uh, subsea pipeline in the world, that is Nord Stream, and now it has installed the third longest uh, subsea pipeline in the world. So we can, uh, we can say that Cyprem has consolidated its experience and competence in the subsea installation pipeline offshore around the world.